Hello, we hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another Blackout video. This one going to be more aimed towards just everyone who plays Black Ops 4. If you guys heard about this a couple weeks ago, there are many leaks out there about a possible battle pass or some sort of stream pass out there. More details have been announced. A full tutorial video released by Treyarch will be linked down below for all of you guys as it will be called the Black Market and it looks very, very cool. Now, details about this, guys, to give you guys a little TLDR, they're going to, of course, give you guys a live stream to watch as well as play in-game to unlock a great amount of features, which they will call Contraband. Now, they call them uh, a lot of the list of features you can actually of course accomplish and unlock you know they have their tags and they're of course they're going to call them gestures tags are pretty much graffiti sprays and gestures are pretty much emotes i think they wanted to of course avoid those lines with uh fortnite and of course other battle royales out there and kind of make them their own names which a bit it does sound weird to call them tags and again and call them gestures but either way you can also unlock brand new characters and also the thing we're probably hyped about brand new character skins as well as weapon skins in game and you can also do so by following along on their live stream and every single piece of contraband will will be limited time features. So of course they're gonna have a Halloween event. There's gonna probably other other events in the future. Each unlock will actually be seasonal and that way you can only unlock them for a certain amount of time. So if you hop in in season two or three, you can't unlock season one goodies. So it's gonna be very cool to see how they do that. And here's a short clip of their video as well on Treyarch's edition. The full video will be linked down below about details about Black Market. Hey everybody, I'm David Vonderhaar, Studio Design Director at Treyarch on Black Ops 4. The Black Market. The place you go to get all your favorite Black Ops 4 gear is back and it's better than ever. This year we're giving players far more choices than ever before, including a path where all you need to do is play and you'll get access to some of the best items in the game. We've created even more ways to express yourself, including tags, gestures, customizable outfits for specialists, new Blackout characters, and a whole new level of flair for your guns with signature weapons. And also a very important note not really touched on in the video, you can actually earn XP to go towards these tiers in each and every game mode, whether that's multiplayer for Black Ops 4, whether it's Zombies or Blackout, whatever game you do play, you can actually earn XP to of course go towards those tiers. On top that it was also leaked a while ago that yes, you can actually buy a, pad buy a battle pass for each and every season. It's probably going to be projected anywhere between a month and a month and a half for each season. So we can expect probably hopefully five or six seasons that along the sa same length as Fortnite they do theirs about in a month and a half to two months long per season and each and every season if you guys buy the battle pass you automatically unlock the first 10 tiers therefore of course unlocking all the skins and everything that comes with it contraband wise even faster and it should be actual the loadouts for all those skins those character the character skins so on and so forth should be applicable to all those game modes as well so if you unlock them uh, in general in the game you can use them in zombies multiplayer as well as in blackout but that's the new black market uh, idea we'll see how it actually goes down and apparently even cooler than that, it's actually going to be a pretty long battle pass or in terms of gameplay to actually unlock all the tiers. Allegedly 200 tiers and some people are saying rumors wise up to 400 hours to actually unlock all the tiers. Now how accurate that is, of course that is a lot of gameplay compared to you know Rocket League or especially compared to games like Fortnite, how long it takes to complete all their tiers. More details coming soon guys about this, but the black market idea is now released and it sounds very cool. Now stay tuned until Friday, we're going to get a better idea of how long it might take to unlock all 200 tiers. And also a couple more things out there. The wingsuit glitch is still a thing. If you guys do not know about this, all your favorite pros probably do some sort of this. Now, it's not too big of a bug abuse out there, but it still is an issue in terms of, of course, faster mobility. It makes a lot of sense to have this in the game, especially with the current terrain in the game. A lot of short fall offs. People are taking a lot of advantage of their wingsuits. If you guys don't know, you'd actually run, then jump, then press your number uh, number three key. Usually is the hot key for that seat three, which is what you hit for the wingsuit. That's how you do the wingsuit glitch. Many of your favorite pros, pros out there are still doing this. I was watching streams today and they all do it, you know, almost nonchalantly. Again, it's not a huge factor when it comes to the game, but it, it still is technically a glitch out there that is still existing. And speaking of streamers out there, it's been super nice to see. Not many people talking about this. Dr. Disrespect, is this actually his revival? It, of course, he went through that lull period after um, some things which happened a, a bit ago now, a pretty long time ago. Alongside that, though, probably averaging 10 to 15,000 viewers before Blackout's release or Black Ops release. And now with Blackout guys averaging just under 30,000 viewers, it's been great to see him alongside people like Shroud really becoming the face of Black Ops and it's great to see as well these guys these Call of Duty guys really sticking to the game because there's plenty of other streamers out there you know the Fortnite crowd who is bouncing back and forth and even so really sticking to Fortnite so it's been great to see Dr. Disrespect and Shroud and other other pros out there as well really become the faces of this brand new game and to hopefully try and push for some longevity about that now talking about those faces as well Dr. Disrespect will not be at our first Doritos Bowl if you guys do not know details have now been released about that it will 
will be four teams. Those on screen as well with their rosters. Four teams of squads, guys. Just a really small tournament, but a $250,000 prize pool. We previously did not know about that. And each and every team, guys, will have four heats. Uh, one kill is one point, and then multipliers for how your team does place in those. How they're going to do those, though, and actually fill the entire match. Uh, will they fill it with randoms? I'm not really sure because uh, only having a certain number of players there, it should be a really small lobby. So I'm not really sure if they're facing off against themselves or just in general heats. We'll see how the more that actually does break down, as well as the prize pool breakdown. We had a $250,000 overall prize pool. No idea as of right now how much first place gets to fourth place as well. So again, more details coming soon, but that will be this weekend. The very first ever Blackout event will be the Doritos Bowl. Going to be some very, very well-known names there. Shroud and Courage and Lupo and a bunch of others are going to be there as well. And I cannot wait to see our first Blackout event. How it does viewership-wise will certainly project how it will do in the future as well. But as always, my name is Jake. I hope you guys all enjoy Blacked Out News, and I will see you guys all back here tomorrow with some more esports news. But as always, I'll see you then.